Please join me this morning in praying for all those who are sick and homebound, especially those on our parish prayer list. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Lord, will herself be praised. Her children have called her most blessed. Her husband has sung her praises. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Saint, Saint Monica, and by her intercession during this Holy Eucharist, we pray for the soul of Anita Pullen and for the soul of David Hartman. Also, we welcome our friend and neighbor, Father uh, Leo Perez, and the chaplain of the, the village hospital. So if you will be in the hospital, call him. <laughs> <laughs> On the beginning of this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of Saint Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor and not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God, not to take advantage or of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter, for the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The response is, rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord, you just. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. Rejoice, Rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord, you just. just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, no, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterward, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, if I will be, you know, ask you today that, okay, on this side of the church, uh, please just sit, everyone who tried to be like the wise virgins, and on this side, uh, like the uh, foolish ones, okay? I think that this part of the church will be empty, okay? Everyone will be moved here. Okay, D don't move, okay? And, uh, but you know, also, um, we have to ask ourselves today that, you know, trying to be or dreaming to be a wise virgin from today's gospel, this is not the same like be the wise virgin. Why? If you want to truly answer the front of ourselves and the front of Jesus for this question, we have to first uh, understand the meaning of the oil. 
what the oil from today's gospel means. You know? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oil from today's gospel, this means charity. And this is not the charity uh, like we are understanding. Okay, I have to give some money, and at this moment, I am full of charity. No, the means of today, from today's gospel, the oil means charity, like, okay, I am giving everything. My life, my life, my love, my forgiveness, my time, my attention, everything for people around me. In this moment, I am sure that the, the lamp in, uh, from in my heart, in my life, always is lighting because it's always full of oil. So in this moment, I will be exactly in this part of this wise virgins, and in this moment, whatever will be, uh, uh, wherever the day will be, uh, will be come that Jesus will be calling us, always the gates will be open for me, never will be locked. And this is not on the Jesus, this is on us. Today, you know, we also celebrated the memorial of St. Monica. And uh, very often people are trying to, uh, for example, uh, prove that she was the wise one or the foolish one. Because on the human level, look, she married the, the gentleman who was not Christian. She raised uh, three children, two sons and one daughter. She knew it on the, from, from the first beginning that the life will be not easy for her, will be not easy for her fate. But she never, she never gave up. She always was crying and praying, crying and praying. And because of that, the conversion came for the kids, one day for the husband. And this is like that, you know, sometimes uh, I don't think so that we, we will be ready, you know, okay, Jesus, today I am start praying, for example, for this intention, and I know that you will be answered for my prayers for the, after 17 years. Usually when we are praying, we expecting that Jesus will be right now. Listen our prayers. And this is not working like that. The same is about that this be one of these uh, wise virgins. This is not that will be decided today about that and everything will be perfect. No, this is day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, to the end of my pilgrimage here on the earth. This is not just one day. This is not just one action. This is the process. This is the... Uh, you know, everything what I am doing every day. This is like, um, for example, um, someone told me many, many years ago that this parable is like the, uh, you know, dreaming uh, that about the traveling. Okay, my car is ready. It's packed. I prepared the the whole, uh, you know, for example, travel, where I will be going, what I will be visiting, everything is good. I check my engine, everything is working, is perfect. But I forgot about the gas. Okay? And sorry, I cannot move. So if I don't have uh, oil in my life, in meaning from today's gospel, how I will be moved? It's impossible. So today, Jesus is calling us, never give up. Be like St. Monica. One day, your prayers will be fulfilled. But before that, try to do everything that every second of your life, the oil will be, uh, that the, your heart, your life will be full of this oil from today's gospel. And at this moment, you will be sure that the door always will be open for you. Amen. Amen.
Trusting in the Lord's goodness, let us bring before him our prayers and petitions. For seminarians throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide their discernment and sustain them in their formation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all civic leaders, may the Lord bless them with a hunger for justice and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For compassionate caregivers, may the Lord strengthen and encourage them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, may the Holy Spirit help us to persevere in prayer and grow in holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our family members who have left the faith, may our prayers uh, lift them up and so that they can find their way back to, to their true faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may God, together with the saints, welcome them into the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers and intentions that we've placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and internal God, hear these petitions we have brought before you and answer them. We pray in accordance with your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the ardent work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring uh, you the sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate uh, blessed Saint Monica, humbly entreating that they may be stone on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to this original holiness and bring into the experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, 
we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us, Lord, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has brought the world and the news of the fullness of charity. We got out thanks to our poor. John Newman, our bishop, and all the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who are died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your feet. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our son, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyr, St. Monica and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co as eternal life and new creation glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And in us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please, 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 please. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who travels in search of fine pearls and who, on finding one of great price, sold everything and bought it. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I would like to invite the Eucharistic ministers My brothers, you are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick members of our parish family. Go to them with our love, our care, and our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We are uh, replenish, O oh Lord, uh, with the gifts we have received on the feast day of Blessed Saint Monica. Grant, we pray, that we may be purified by their effects and strengthened by the help they bring through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, Redeemer spouse, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Now let us pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the, but the source, source of life gushed forth for souls, souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O, o blood, blood and water, water which, which gushed gush forth from, from the heart of Jesus, Jesus as, As the a font, font of mercy, mercy for us, I trust, trust in you. O blood, blood and water, which gushed gush forth from the heart of Jesus, As a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O God and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, As a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in, in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy, holy God, God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us 
and, and increase, increase your, your mercy in us, in us that, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become, nor become despondent, despondent, but with great, great confidence submit, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust, I trust in you. you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray Amen. for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Madam, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you so much, and the blessed of Saint Monica Day for everyone, and see you tomorrow. Thank you, Father.